Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we continue our tour of common myths by exploring the most common web machine control, tension. It should not be surprising that the most common control would have so many myths or half-truths associated with it. In this first slide, we list just a few related to more tangible physical items. For example, many people believe that dancers are better than load cells or vice versa. The truth is that either will work equally well in most cases, provided that certain vital details are attended to, such as we discussed in modules 5 and 6 of Web 101. Another is AC is better than DC. This fallacy is also sometimes called the newer is better fallacy. There are many practical pros and cons to each system, but each can perform without practical flaw in holding tension in most cases, provided that certain vital details are attended to. The most important here is that the drive programmer literally went to school on both web handling and web drives, such as taught by AIMCAL's converting school. Of course, there are always exceptions. Applications involving position control may be much better off with AC or even better yet, servos. The point I teach in my Web 101 is not to have drive envy. Rather, go to school and learn what the web needs and then how to satisfy it. Similar situations seen in digital versus analog debate. While digital often has many advantages, there are select cases where analog is actually better, faster, and or cheaper. You can read the rest of this list. Better yet, go to school and fill in the vital details. In this slide, we list more intangible, but nonetheless still quite important fallacies that are also quite common in web plans. The first is a concept error, that the web needs support by rollers. The truth of the matter we covered in Module 4, which is that span length can matter, but only for certain very well-defined situations, such as to help reduce the incidence of wrinkling on some webs that are not flat, such as due to bagginess or curl. The second is similar that the total length of web is long between drives and thus we need another drive in between to help it along. This is not length that matters. It is the relative tension change due to roller bearing drag and inertia. This is a calculation, not an opinion, and it is well documented in my roller book. Perhaps the most common for people running relatively slow speed is some thought that this buys you tolerance for drive control problems. There is at best a grain of truth to this, but it misses the greater opportunity. That is, if you know web handling, 10,000 feet per minute is no more difficult in concept than 10 feet per minute, with two exceptions, air entrainment and vibration. Other arguments here are sometimes called throwing good money against bad. In other words, the original drive programmer didn't know what they were doing, so we will put more money into it and life will somehow get magically better in reward of our efforts. This is sometimes called the Pollyanna fallacy. On so many occasions, I have lamented the frequently poor and getting poorer understanding of drive details at the plant and machine builder level. These opinion pieces in slides 18 to 21 of module 6 of Web 101 detail the situation quite precisely. However, if you want a one-sentence executive summary, it is this. It is a people problem. More specifically, it is a management problem where they sometimes fail to groom the specialized resources required to master this vital area. Mastery can take a decade or more of dedicated apprenticeship and focus. Work situations like this are not at all common. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my Plant Practical series. Please stay tuned as we continue our efforts in myth-busting by talking about one of my favorite topics, winding.